Hello Polygoners! I am Shaft, you are watching a daily cast. Today we've got an exciting Zerg vs Terran for you, and I've got a really good reason why I picked this game. However, let's go ahead and introduce these players, because they're on the bottom left hand side of Mech Depot. In the red Zerg trunks, it's Jim Rising! And here on the top right hand side, in the blue Terran trunks, it's Eternal Dreaming's very own Hawaiian style. Now the question really becomes, will he be going for Mech or will he be going for Bio? It is, of course, Mech Depot. The name kind of suggests itself, but Bio definitely always an option. Now, Jim Rising, if you remember about two or three casts ago, he did go for a Mutalisk style. I posited why he might want to go for that particular style, and I'd like to compare it uh, in this game to a more ground-based Hydraling Baneling army that is a little more typical of the current meta. And for some reason my hotkeys aren't working for the camera stuff so you're gonna have to deal with uh, no, no cameras angle turns or anything like that. But um, basically we saw him using Mutalisks in a really cool creative way on Abyssal Reef and my question really comes down to was it just the map geography that allowed him to do that and I'm honestly not sure even after watching this game I think there's a lot of really exciting stuff though so it may not be like a one-to-one -one direct comparison but hopefully we'll at least be able to get some some Venn diagram of the two different styles. Now, we've got the 111 coming, of course, for our Terran buddy. This is like the standard, standard meta right now. Got the uh, second base, of course. The Ling's gonna get in there, scout some of that. Gonna try and kill off this mule. Worth about 300 minerals and gonna cancel out some mining time. Oh, actually, uh, gonna kill off that mule and had a chance to get into the supply depot, but chooses to go for the SCV. Good pickup, going for the easy kill third and fourth link coming in here going to be targeting down both the SCV as well as the bunker but the reason for all of this aggression is just that there's a little bit of time here before hellions pop out now of course gonna need a couple of links uh, defensively this has delayed his third base just a little bit he is a uh, Mining a little extra gas, so we'll see what he chooses to do here with this. Now he's got one evolution chamber on the way, as well as an armory here for Hawaiian style. So this could definitely be a mech play. It could also be like Hellbats in the bio. It's really hard to pinpoint exactly what this could be, but Hellbats are very popular right now. Gem Rising, of course, already got these queens in position. Good creep spread, already set up here at four minutes. Gonna be connecting uh, the second and third base. Nothing here in the main, but of course, Overlords can drop creep. Uh, they're definitely one of the options uh, for Gem Rising. Now we've got these medevacs trying to like move around on the edge of the map. We'll see if he does anything with those. But this third base, again, it just kind of disturbs me because it is a little bit later. So Tech Lab now completing. Looks like we're going to see a Banshee out of Hawaiian Style. Now Hawaiian Style is playing for Eternal Dreamers. They're a team that has just been uh, reformed. Older team, uh, definitely a solid team back in the day. And definitely sporting a strong roster right now. And in fact, Hellbats coming in, Hawaiian style showing just how good this team is, taking out the first of the queens very, very convincingly. Jim Rising's buying time right now. He wants to get the queens over here and start targeting the medevac, but he doesn't want to lose the links to the Hellbats until he's got a bigger numbers and get a better surround now. This queen trying to be filled out. We've got four queens here on the field. He is not being careful to target the medevac though, and that could be a critical mistake, but the links coming in and actually uh, doing a lot of damage to the remaining Hellbats, but just this medevac regeneration doing a great, great job keeping the Hellbats all alive. The queen's trying to get out of there, but uh, it's mostly just wasting time at this stage for a handful more links to come up. He's continuing to drone behind this. He's got the plus one carapace, and actually it looks like the queen's gonna force these two hellbats to pick up and try to move into the the main here. Does lose the one hellbat. Does he lose the medevac? Ah, uh, looks like he will get away with that. Meanwhile, here at home in the Terran base, looks like we will be seeing a stem pack, uh, marines, a third CC, 
Some more barracks going down, and here's a fourth and fifth base out of Gem Rising at six minutes into the game. Of course, no second evolution shaper out of him. Does get some score callers that may be, uh, yep, that, that's a reaction to this Banshee right here. Queen's trying to get under there, and... Yeah, Spore Crawler gonna pop, force that Banshee out. That Banshee continuing to uh, use its energy. This Overseer, of course, can see it, so there's no reason for that. But that that's fine. These players are definitely gonna be sticking in on the macro scale here. Looks like this Banshee may fall to the Queen Fire. No, 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 no. Maybe? No, I don't think so. This uh, Banshee ultimately just gonna be a scouting Banshee. does see the... Well, this base. I don't know if this was the fourth or the fifth, seeing as they were taken roughly at the same time. Queen's trying to get underneath the Banshee. Banshee does run out of energy, and see, that's why you don't waste your energy. There was still an overseer there, but eh, let's pretend not. Anyways, third CC does go ahead and land Gem Rising, choosing to take this uh, fourth and fifth base instead of attacking right now, which it actually isn't a very Gem Rising esque decision. He is a very aggressive player, so I'm curious to see what he's uh, going to be pulling out of. Here. Uh, you know, his back pocket here. He doesn't have plus one melee. He's getting plus two carapace. So at seven and a half minutes, you have to wonder, is he going for ultralis? Uh, like a little bit quicker. Centrifugal hooks completing. We've got muscular augmentation. So it's definitely going to be hydroling baneling. But the plus two carapace is a little bit off-putting because, you know, of course, lings do better with attack. Uh, hydralisks are so frail. Does the carapace really matter? There's a lot of questions here. So almost invariably you have to expect ultra scare oh good position on this overlord hawaiian stall sees it but has not done anything about it all right so a single marine going to be scouting over here just really trying to see what he can see there you go he does see this this, this space here as well so the terran definitely going to be aware of what's going on and what's interesting here is how gem rising has basically chosen not to engage until the Terran forces it, and of course, you know, throws some mainlings up there. But meanwhile, there's a counterattack. Does manage to get right into this natural. Hawaiian style leaving that door down 100% completely. Lings swinging in here, pulls off the SCVs. It's mostly going to be lost mining time. I don't know that, uh, yeah, these lings aren't going to be able to do too much. Will he pull this off? Because he's still got some lings over here. Or is he just trying to buy time? Yeah, pulling this down gonna try and cycle these back around just trying to keep these lings as annoying as possible and if you can keep a handful of them alive all the better he may actually send this straight on over to the third base hydras and bane lings at home in a defensive capacity with the lings and the mineral based army being really really the disposable thing that he's throwing away right now but there's still a fairly formidable terran army on the field and it's got one one upgrades compared to the plus two carapace of jim rising who is now working on his hive so start at around nine minutes this is definitely an ultra build he's got the one one upgrades coming both for ranged and melee now so if there was any doubt <laughs> it's gonna be ultra lists guys does knock this rock down Duh. that's gonna be great tanks can't abuse that anymore uh it's just the amount of positional abuse um it, it's really smart to knock rocks down in this matchup I just really like the Overlord positioning for Gem Rising. Um, anytime like the Terran's thinking of moving out, except in like this area here, he's pretty much going to be aware of it. Now, that doesn't include drops, but it does include this main army right here, which Gem Rising actually choosing to engage. The tanks are not sieged yet, and that means the Hawaiian style going to be forced back onto the map, not getting initial volleys or any volleys actually from sieged tanks. Loses a couple of the tanks in the process. Uh, actually, it was just one tank, but... Uh, Quite a few of them got pretty heavily bruised. He may choose to repair those, but right now Jim Rising has a really good opportunity to attack. But he's not taking it. Why? He's waiting for these ultras. He doesn't want to throw this army away and have to remake it. He wants to spend the resources, he, well, the very precious resources, the very few resources that he does have on ultralists. He doesn't have the bank. If he were trying to trade with Hawaiian Style, Hawaiian Style would be basically trading... Well, he would lose the tanks, possibly, but it's mostly going to be bio, and that's just minerals. It's real, like, they basically don't cost anything. In the same way that a Zerg doesn't care if he loses four lings, Terran doesn't care if they lose, you know, two, three, four, even eight mar marines at this stage in the game. Now, here's the interesting part. Hawaiian style moving out onto this creep, and the Hydra Mainling army just 
coming right here into the midfield. This is a midfield engagement army. If he can fight the Terran in a mobile position, he's great. Now, what I like here is that he's taking the Zonaga Tower with uh, you know some of his Hydroling main army. He's coming down here to pressure this with his Hydroling main army. He's not actually attacking the rocks, but he's got the split force. And as uh, Jim Rising scouts that Hawaiian style is trying to move up this ramp, of course, you know, the siege tank's not going to be able to get up there initially. He's got to be really careful to pull back. All oh, these lings are getting into the natural, and some of them getting into the main. Uh, Hydra Bane Link swinging in here. This is so brutal. Hawaiian style had no units here really to defend. So much reinforcements just going to get killed off. Hawaiian style being forced to abandon his position, and with the tanks being picked up so quickly and not leapfrogging, this other side here with the Hydra Ling Bane Link totally going to be exposed to the flank. Loses a ton of minerals right there uh, in the form of marines. Uh, he's got a little flank of Hydralisks here. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful split. Hawaiian style definitely definitely playing a solid game but making a lot of key mistakes he left that depot wall down at least two occasions i can remember um lings initially got in there i'm um, just a little bit sloppy on the wall play i liked his macro i think his micro and his harassment could have done a little bit better but jim rising totally playing this as textbook zerg don't force any engagements you don't have to. Don't throw away any army you don't have to. And when in doubt, counterattack. This was textbook Zerg. Jim Rising showing us both a Mutalisk style a couple of days ago, Hydraling Baneling today. Who knows what he's going to show us next time? Who knows what the next cast is going to be? I sure don't. Guys, I'm Shaf with Polygon Gaming. If you like this content, please hit like on this video. Share it with your friends. If this is your first time on the channel, please hit that red subscribe button. And as always, please visit us on Patreon. Link in the description. Until next time, guys. Chatelet, my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.